Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching day 11 of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to day 11 of my mystery whiskey advent or dramvent calendar. If you've seen this before and you know it works, then you can just skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I have over 150 samples in my sample collection and my wife has picked 24 at random and she'll put one a day into this blue Glencairn glass. I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell you if I like it and I'll have a stab at what I think it is. Should we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. If you'd like to play along with me and find out what's in my glass when I do, then just keep watching. Otherwise, take a look in the description now for a sneak peek. Let's start with the nose. Right, so I'm getting some vanilla. Getting a little hint of apple. Getting a hint of toffee. And caramel. It's quite soft on the nose, this one. It doesn't taste, well, it doesn't smell that young. I'm getting some sort of, um, like, old wood yeah like pencil shavings yeah it smells like a an, a sort of reasonably aged scotch whiskey but I'm not getting much more out of this let's move on to the palette Yeah, so it's pretty much it's pretty much similar on the nose, but interestingly, on the palate I get those orchard fruits, I get that dry wood, that old wood. I get a bit of like green apple skins, but as it sort of evaporates and disappears from your mouth, I'm getting a hint of sort of red wine, sort of slightly tannic dry red wine. That definitely didn't come across on the nose and didn't initially come across on the palate. Let's have another sip. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking this is red wine uh, matured or finished whiskey. There's a little bit of maltiness to it. I think this has probably got a decent age to it. It's probably a uh, Scotch whiskey. It's not very high ABV though, I don't think. Probably, maybe a max of 46%. If I had to guess, I'd say it's a uh, Highland or Speyside Scotch whiskey. And yeah, I'm thinking it's red wine matured. Should we find out what I'm drinking? Right, so I'm sure I'm gonna murder this pronunciation, but it's a Bunahaven and it's the Ennegrin. I may be completely wrong. It's 46.3% ABV, and it was sent to me by Mark McCory, so thanks for that. Um, yeah, so I don't know what this particular expression is, I've heard of it before. Um, I think ABV wise, I was around the right sort of area. Obviously it's an Isla, so it isn't Highland or Speyside. And I'm hoping that it possibly has been aged or finished in some sort of red wine. But yeah, I don't know. If, if I can find out, and I'm sure I can, I'll put it in the description. Um, and yeah, it's an interesting one because I haven't had that many unpeated Boonhavens and they can be quite different in their flavour profile depending on how they're matured and um, yeah this one definitely uh, has a scotch character to it but it's um, not too familiar. I don't know how old this is, um, I'm assuming it's got a reasonable age to it but yeah 
really interested. I'm gonna take my time with the rest of this off camera to see if I can pick up any more. And hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Zauncha. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.